Hey, welcome. Thank you for watching another one of our videos, and I hope you are having a fantastic day. We're going to talk about some more cryptocurrency news, and this one is, will the United States federal government create a cryptocurrency? Wow. Is that in the future? I need you to know I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is is my opinion. I am not smarter than you. You are smarter than you realize. Do not trust what I say. Do your own research. So, Bitcoin investor claims it's only a matter of time before the Federal Reserve goes crypto. Pretty remarkable. If you followed the cryptocurrency news cycle over the past few months, you'll likely have noticed that the trend of central banks going digital currency. With the launch of Facebook Libra, which is slated to become a global digital asset used by hundreds of millions of distributed users, governments and their respective central banks have been mandated to maintain monetary hegemony. Purpose, purposed solutions to combat Libra are, of course, the central bank's digital currencies, which would allow central banks and commercial banks to retain control over money issuance and financial services, respectively. <clears throat> so, with, while central banks like China's People's Bank of China, and they've announced they've co they're coming out with their own cryptocurrency, the, European, Euro, the Eurozone's European Central Bank and even Canada's Bank of Canada have all thrown their hats into the central bank digital currency ring. One player has remained relatively silent, the United States Federal Reserve. Previously, the Federal Reserve former chair, Janet Yellen, bashed Bitcoin and the idea of a sovereign cryptocurrency. Despite this, an analyst thinks this is only a matter of time before the Federal Reserve brings the dollar on chain, in other words, onto a cryptocurrency. But I don't think the thing that's going to force the U.S. government to get into a cryptocurrency is necessarily Libra or other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. And there's, there's over 2,000 cryptocurrencies out there. And I don't think that's going to move the federal government one way or the other. But China has recently announced that they've been working on their own cryptocurrency for about four years, and it sounded like their plan was to release it sometime in October. Now, so far that has not happened, and they have not disclosed any further information about the date that they plan on releasing, that the date that the Central Bank of China plans on releasing their cryptocurrency. The only news that we've heard is that they're in the process of on-ramping some of their larger retail outlets like Alibaba and several others. And once those large retail outlets are set up with the programming and, and other infrastructures in order to uh, facilitate purchases uh, with, their crypto, with the Central Bank of China's cryptocurrency, I'm sure that at that point we'll actually see it released out into the market. One of the other things that I read about uh, China's central bank cryptocurrency is their plan is not to make this something that's unique just to the Chinese uh, populace, but rather that they want their intention, they've publicly indicated that their intention is for, a, for it to be a global cryptocurrency. And with China getting into the game, and if they actually do push to make their cryptocurrency a global cryptocurrency, that will put pressure on to the Federal Reserve to come out with its own cryptocurrency in order to protect the sovereignty of the U.S. dollar. Um, because if they don't get involved and try to protect the sovereignty of the U.S. dollar, then China may get the, the uh, first leap ahead on a global basis and become globally dominant in a way that the United States may never be able to compete with or take back away from China. Um, only time will tell, but I really do believe that it's things like China, the European zone, and Canada 
getting involved with cryptocurrency that'll push the Federal Reserve. Another thing that I read recently uh, is the Australian government is also getting into cryptocurrency. The unique thing about the Australian government's cryptocurrency is that it's also backed by gold. So I thought that was a very unusual uh, thing for the Australian government to do is A, to be announcing that they're getting involved with cryptocurrency and B, that the Australian government's cryptocurrency will be a gold crypto gold backed. It'll be gold backed uh, one to one, meaning for every dollar's worth of cryptocurrency, they will have a dollar's worth of gold backing it. So thought that was all very interesting. Now, how can I be of service to you? If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, if you disagree with what I'm saying, please politely disagree below in the comments below. In the meantime, I hope that you'll like, subscribe, and hodl. Have a fantastic day.